Welcome back, welcome back. This is a segment that I've been waiting for. It has all to do with the creative arts. We have representatives from PSAS, which of course is a primary and secondary school, uh, secondary arts skills training uh, project. Uh, we have Fiona, uh, Christina, and Tommy. Uh, Kami, that they're here with us uh, to teach us more about Zen Tangle. Uh, it's a form of art that is becoming popular uh, in Belize and people are getting involved in it and you can get all these different products and all of that all over Belize. Uh, right. Welcome guys to the show. Uh, talk to us more about Zen Tango. Mm -hmm. Well, Zen Tango is it's a form of doodling. Um, there's no, not a really set rules mm -hmm. and you can do with um, really just one piece of paper and a pen. And usually we do it on a square, um, 3.5 by 3.5 inches square. Yeah. Like that, that big. Um, the purpose is um, we don't want to do it too big so to stretch yourself out again, yeah. right? So just do a small one, use ink pen, and you just do um, lines, checker, anything. Yeah. Now, a part of why we wanted to have this conversation today was to give adults opportunities to get involved in mm -hmm. some of the creative arts which you guys said it's not just about being creative right. it's also about stress relief right yes tell us more about that how does uh, especially for somebody who doesn't do art never yeah. did art don't consider themselves creative how do these techniques the centangle and the coloring and everything else we'll get into how do they help to keep adults stress-free okay um, that, I think that's the reason why Zen Tango is um, very popular now uh, because the person doing the uh, Zen Tango, it doesn't need to be very professional or mm -hmm. have to be an artist. It can, it can be anyone, any age, any job. Um, okay, for example, when people stress out, mm -hmm. then we might say, okay, put it down your job, go to wash the dishes or try to do something. Mm -hmm. But you, we figure out when the people start to wash, wash the dishes, they, their head still stress out, uh -huh. something still in the head. It looks like it cannot help well. Yeah. So um, someone develop the art to um, make you be calm. Then when you're doing the art, uh, you can focus on the artwork and help you to um, um, release your stress. Okay. Okay, but the problem is people thought we are an artist, how we do that, yeah. right? So Zen Tango is very easy work because actually it's just a doodle, you know. You, we, we doodle everywhere, even the wall, yeah. the building. I, I do it. <laughs> In meetings or when you're yeah, trying to figure out something, you start to scratch your drawing. Yeah. Yes. And this is what Zentangle is, but just mm -hmm. in, a, in a formal, in a, a specific small. size. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It, it can be a stigma, right? Yeah. Tear drops, <laughs> swirl, triangle. Okay. Yeah, I do lines. Yes, the lines, the curved lines. So just tangle the patterns together. Ah. So we call Zen tango. So it's oh. Zen because no. Zen is peaceful. So, uh -huh. yeah. Tango. Okay. Yes, correct. Now, if you thought that it was kind of a basic way of art, we have uh, who I consider a professional artist already, yeah. Kami Enriquez, yeah. extremely <laughs> talented young woman. Um, we've seen you do watercolor. We've seen you do so many different types of art. Yet Zen tango is your favorite. Yes, it is. Tell us why. Well, basically, when you get into upper division and higher classes, it takes a little bit more um, energy. Mm -hmm. So basically, you spend a lot of your time trying to manage your classes, extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. everything. So basically, what Zentangle does for me is it gives me a time to relax and it also helps me to become focused. Because as PSC is drawing nearer and nearer, I really need to stay focused so I can retain everything that the teachers are trying to teach me. So Zentango really is the full package. Wow. So, so <laughs> you, you, don't, you really don't do it. You, you really get to it using the skills that you have and putting it into practice yes. with Zentango. Mm -hmm. wow. 
I, I'm sorry. Every time Kami comes on the show, I'm kind of floored by, by her <laughs> by her responses. It takes me a while to recover. No. Christina, you also teach uh, students yes. uh, many different forms mm -hmm. of, of art. Uh, what have you found to be the response in terms of these arts, oh. these art forms that are considered stress relievers? Um, students, they do much better better with this than you tell them to do a watercolor piece or a portrait. They, when you tell them to do a portrait, they stress out because they want it to be perfect even though I'm, I wasn't expecting them to be perfect. Yeah. But they, they have that standard in them. But when I tell them to do um, Zen tangos or just doodle, all of them could do it. Um, they do it very, very well. Mm -hmm. And it really surprised you and surprised themselves as well. No, uh, I we just saw some, uh, I think one from you as well, uh, coming, where really it's black and white, just mm -hmm. a pen or a dark marker and going to it. Is it that you can go colors wise oh, yes. as well? Yes. Uh, yes. Is that what people are doing too? That's what I, that's what I prefer. And I, I brought coloring pencil today. So we will be showing color pencil techniques t as well Ooh. as what you prefer, just black and white. Um, now the color pencils will be a bit more difficult than your gel pens? No, no, no. no? It depends, depends on what you like. I like coloring. <laughs> they like ink pen. Okay. I know, um, Christina, you, you were saying just now that you're seeing that more and more young people are involved yes. uh, in this. I know you said adults as well. Um, but Kame, do you find that all your colleagues or your, or your fellow students, they too are getting into it, you know, involved in this uh, Zen Tango? Yes, um, they do get involved and what I think is amazing that they don't know that they're getting involved. Mm -hmm. Since Zen Tango is doodling, mm -hmm. most of them already do it, they just don't know that they're doing it. Um, Almost all the students in my class, if you look at the back of their books, there are so much doodling and all of that. Yeah. But I think when you actually get into it, you're very focused. So I really love it. Wow. Now, Fiona, tell us, you work with uh, children of all ages. And I know that adults aren't necessarily the population that any of you uh, work, reach out to. But you have experience as adults, you and Christina, to mm -hmm. be able to share what this does for you. Why would you tell people at home to give it a try? They might watch us and say, they're crazy. Telling adults to go out and buy a coloring book or yeah. grab a pen and doodle at work. <laughs> like You want people to think we're still childish. What do you say to them about why they should give it a try? Um, I, I actually... Um, uh, the Zen Tango is, um, doesn't have a form, you yeah. know, you can do a, any way uh, you like, mm -hmm. any style you like, mm -hmm. and uh, um, it, the material also very easy to get it. Um, we also use the Zen Tango in our everyday, our life, you know, like people have um, the plan book, mm -hmm. everybody have a plan book, mm -hmm. but you can see um, the pages inside the plan book is very plan yeah you know so when you're in the office or at home right um you can start to doodle on your plan book uh -huh. right like this is my um own plan book this is my i like this ah. kind of style then yes when i tired i just get start to draw something uh-huh uh-huh and sometimes my students or anyone pass from my table they see that they continue the work oh so this uh, nice. <laughs> finish with different people oh. everybody can doodle my 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 notebook uh -huh. you know, and you so still have your notes it's not that you're not using yeah. your planner <laughs> <laughs> yes so i i like this um idea it is uh, you can do it everywhere mm -hmm. uh, anytime yeah so okay. very easy <laughs> now christina the other up-and-coming trend is the adult coloring book yes right um and they are available in Belize now <laughs> as well uh tell us a little bit about that um coloring um most people they just get a coloring book and for adults they might think oh it's children thing but it's really not it is about how to relax yourself how to concentrate when you color don't think about anything 
just color, um, especially with color pencil, it takes a while to finish. Mm. But and also you cannot rush, so you have to do it with a very light hand pressure and you mm. build up the color. And while you are doing that, just focus on your drawing and um, try to breathe in, try to um, slow down your breathing, breathe in, breathe out, and you will find yourself very relaxed. Yeah. So, so you can do this anywhere? Um, yes. Not really, you don't mm -hmm. have to be uh, by yourself in a quiet mm -hmm. place, it can be mm -hmm. uh, at work, uh, you know, you're at school, everywhere. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And uh, the sample we show um, from the screen, um, that's um, the children first time did it. Oh, Nobody wow. have been get trained before the artworks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the small artworks. Um, that's the first time they did it. So uh, you might say, can I, may I? But actually, it's not as difficult as you thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if you say so, that's what we're going to find out, right? <laughs> so we're going to shift over. We have today's a very hands on day. I and we're going to shift over to the other set to find out how difficult Zentangle really is. <laughs> oh, right. so, okay. So Duane and I are at this easel. I mean, yes, they're really intricate oh, here. If you guys can Come, you'll this. be on this side, Duane, I'll be on this side. And then you can take it. Okay. This. Okay, so I will. And then you can take one of this. All right. And then you'll each take a piece of paper. Okay. And then we have three pens. You want one more? One more? I need one more? No, no, no. no. It's mine. Oh. oh, that's her, his. Yeah. I'm stealing your paper. All right. So, I'm supposed so to this is an example of the different forms that yes. people have produced, right? Now, what do you tell a student once you give them the strip of paper? What do you tell them? Where to start? Kami? Oh, Kami is our teacher. Oh, yes. oh, student. Oh, I love this <laughs> student turns teacher today. So, Kami. Okay. We are the total newbies, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So the first thing I like to do I is I could do it up here so they can zoom in a bit, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Duane, if you want to share space, I think yours can fit too. I, 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 I. Okay, so tell us. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is have all my materials. And it's not much, it's just maybe any kind of pen or marker and a piece of paper. Right? Mm -hmm. so, right, so put yours up here too. Yes. So we'll do ours yeah. together. Duane, you have a clipboard? Yeah. I, I, I Just remember the camera wants to see what you're doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody wants to. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So what I like to do is I like to start from a sp uh, certain spot on the paper. Uh -huh. And so you can start in the center, on the sides, anywhere really. Mm -hmm. Just have fun with it. Um, All right. Okay. So tell me what... So you can start... Mm -hmm. So you can start with a basic shape, mm -hmm. and I'm going to start with a semicircle. <laughs> and like I said, you don't have to worry about it being perfect because we're just trying to relax ourselves, so it really doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to expand on your simple shape, and you're going to start drawing in patterns. I love this. When the student becomes the teacher yes, that was created for primary school. So, Duane, let's, so, let's I get start? started. Yes, yes, yes. Let's let's start. Start. Okay. Start. So, we're going to share a space here, right? Mm -hmm. I'll do. Okay, perfect. Very good. <laughs> well, I want mine to look good. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Don't worry. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Right. Yeah, I know. I'm like halfway. I'm like, that looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't think of it that way. We don't create art so it will look pretty or look good. It is just to experiment. You find out what you like and the next time you will just do the things that you like, right? Okay. So you, don't you, worry. 
you won't know、uh, what it will become the next minute or what the result of the end. So just you know develop any pattern, tango any pattern you want, and you can have a, a lot of mistake, but the mistake will become a perfect art. So we not encourage the student use a pencil and eraser. I don't want they fix it. Okay, so I have a couple lines and I'm starting to fill it in with different patterns. And since <laughs> I've had experience before, I can incorporate different things like teardrops or aspects you'd see in watercolor. Like、mm. drawing. It. Okay. Oh, you're going、Sorry. to make sure that your one is better than the rest. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be on display. You have to show what you are doing. Mine is、um, very. <laughs> That's how you do it. You're not working. I'm working. I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. okay. So, the moment. Your mind is empty. You only focus on the work, the、uh, the artwork, right? So you forgot your、um, stress or yeah, you're very your... focused on what you're、yes. doing. Yes, yeah,、I'm、very sure focused. And notice how you're doing the small squares. You、mm -hmm. could do this at home and do a lot of them. Then、um, put them together like a. Uh, mosaic, collage. collage. Yes, collage. And then you could just hang it up on a wall. <laughs> Come here to teach me some of those techniques. Mine aren't working out too well. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're relaxing. And it's all about practice. The more you do this,、um, you'll find the easier it gets, and the more relaxed you get. So don't worry about not being perfect. Anything.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what you have. I hear everyone laughing. I want to laugh. That's it. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, <laughs> good. Actually, Kenny, you're a great teacher. Because you're not telling him that he's sloppy. Yeah, it's a really sloppy job. I know it is. It's not sloppy. It's just nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. I mean, it's okay, it's、wait. not as far as I expect you to be、All、being right, such watch, a creative watch, watch person. It, watch it, watch it, watch、right、it. You don't even、then. need to plan what you are going to do. You know, <laughs>、mm -hmm. just start from a dot or a circle、okay. or a piece of line. Then you develop the next. Without the plan. Okay, on a shot. Watch this.、Uh -huh. Because making plan, you get more stress, right? <laughs> oh man. Um. Yes. This thing come weird. Yes, it looks so professional、mm -hmm. now. <laughs> I, Marlene would. Um, I'll need help with my notes. I'm not the teacher. Ask Kami. Okay. Hey, I have a son now. You think? What do you think? It looks good. You better show it off to the camera. <laughs> What? Then I need color. I need color well, on my one. Well, they said you could use coloring <laughs> pencils. Incorporate coloring pencils. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Creativeness to come out my creative side. Ah,、huh? I'm going to use color on this. It's going to look really good. So I do this. Remember when you used to ask me what I did on my scripts all the time? Ah,、uh -huh. you doodle. <laughs> And you used to laugh at them. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, um, this is looking weird. Me too. Well, it's um. I like this. I guess this is the feeling you get with coloring. I like this filling in feeling. Yes. Oh. And you、um. notice your mind starts to wander. Yeah.、So、you barely notice that you're where you are. That's probably not a good thing being on live TV. <laughs> Sorry, audience, viewers. Just watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I think this is this. 
My one I look better than Marlene is. For you sure, because know? I'm scratching. Okay. And you know, if you don't want to spend money and buy coloring books, you can just doodle something. You start with um, a shape. I, I start with basic shape. And from that <gasps> shape, I see maybe you I want to I drew a box. This is not fair. <laughs> And then from the box, I think maybe something to jump out of the box, so I put a flower and since then, I have a theme going on, right? It's a flower, so I put more flower, put some grass, and now I could add some butterflies. Butterflies on my yes. <laughs> Look at the detail in this one. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh. Is that yours, Kami? No, no that's Amber. Amber. She was Amber. here before. Amber was here, you're right. You really have some amazing artists that you guys work with. <laughs> they are done by the different ages. Yeah. Some of them are very, very young. Some even make words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can write your name. So when you have this, you could just color it. Color your way. You can color it? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can incorporate that coloring pencils and crayons. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's fun. I want to look. Don't try to make it look perfect, Doin. Relax. I can't help it. It will look yeah. perfect. Oh, it will look perfect. I'm sorry. It will be a perfect description of your creative mind. Okay, let's see. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't. Artistic. <laughs> Fiona, you're being so nice. Some people like to draw some emojis. Mm -hmm. ah. uh -huh. They also can, yes. You know, we can hear the entire control room laughing, by the way. Yeah, can I just say that? They're laughing at what Until they have the experience, they'll be able to understand. Wow. We'll be less stressed than you by the end of the show. All right. All right. Yes. See, I tell no when I done with this. See? All right, good. <laughs> I may be hungry, but these look like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I want a nail, okay? This is really, I gotta tell you, this fully engages you. You are mm -hmm. so right. Um, and I can see how if you need a little mental break. Mm -hmm. Kami, I love that you said this helps you to prepare for PSE. It does. This is a time when people think that, it's a time when people think that you are really supposed to be uh, focusing only on the books. How do you tell your mom all right, I'll take a break from all the PSE study and draw a little bit. Well, she actually, uh, she encourages me to do it oh. because she also tries to do it because I try to teach her. Ah. So she encourages me. I like to do Zentango right before I have maybe an important test oh, because nice. usually we have a couple minutes of free time. Uh -huh. So it really clears your mind so you're ready to completely focus on the test. How long does it take you to really do one of these? Mm, depending on the design, I would take about 5-20 minutes. That's on all, okay. A bigger one would take more time but we're not trying to stress ourselves out mm -hmm. i love that she says that <laughs> why stress i think my one needs some color grab a coloring pencil i think they're trying to tell us to stop but we just want to finish up a little bit then we'll be done Let me put some faces. So really, you don't even need to buy a coloring book <laughs> if you don't want to. You just doodle, and when you doodle, don't worry about lines um, showing through each other's. 
because you're, you did not do this to make it perfect. You're just doing this to relax yourself. Now, do you find other kids in school doing this as well, Tammy? Yeah, yes, they do it a lot um, behind their books. Mm. <laughs> 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 it's kids playing around the. Um, um, you didn't have to figure uh, out what it is. <laughs> you weren't paying attention um, to the rules. A flower bed or something. <laughs> It's, it's, this is really creative. This can go right there with that collage yes. there. Huh? Yes. <laughs> See? Fiona says yes. I don't care what you guys have to say. <laughs> and maybe in the beginning you'll find that maybe you cannot sit down and concentrate for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like when I just started to color, I maybe do five minutes and I get, mm, mm, feel like I don't want to do this anymore. But okay. the slower that you start to color and the more that you color, now I could color like an hour, no problem. Mm, wow. And then you start to complain that you don't have enough time to color. <laughs> like when our producer is telling us to wrap up right now. <laughs> because I think we're out of time. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take our final break. And when we come back, you'll see your finished Zentango. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing this technique. <laughs> Obviously, if you haven't been able to see for yourself, it has uh, definitely distracted us instantaneously and it feels great. It doesn't feel like you're wasting time. You just have your energies focused on being able to complete a pattern, not even make art, just complete a pattern. Yes. Thank you. And you even can um, do on the later size of the paper. That's the children. They oh, wow. design for their book late cover. Ah. So yeah. The and there you have Tammy's once again. Yeah, Tammy Tammy's Belize's, I mean, yeah. she's going to be. This girl younger. Yeah. Ariana. Yeah. Uh, yes. She's so, been here. Yes. And Rian? Rihan. Rihan. Yeah. That a boy. And that's, I don't know who did it in my class. <laughs> Just get a piece of paper and start this it. This is awesome. <laughs> They're Colleen. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, everybody can do that. Though. There you go. Okay. So, we got to go ahead and take <laughs> that final break. And when we come back, you'll see our final products. So, stay tuned. <laughs> 